All right, Crystal. So when you're swinging a golf club, do you feel like your arms are kind of more like ropes and your body's just guiding them and, you know, you keep them super loose? Or are you actually like using your hands and your arms to like, you know, throw the club or anything like that? Hello, Miracle Swingers. Today is one of the proudest days of my life. I just finished my first golf novel, and it's called A Lynx Tale, and it's about a golfer named Jack Dagger. Now, his, uh, his name is Jackson Moore, but they call him Dagger because he stabs his putter like this whenever he makes a birdie putt. And um, it's a big book. It's probably, it's over 400 pages right now. But I'm really, really excited about it. And I just wanted to tell everybody as an intro to today's video. So I have a friend named Sean. I was introduced to him by my buddy, Zach. Uh, he's a young golfer. He's got a great golf swing. We played a skins game in the springtime. And I thought he was a really great guy. And he has a great interest in making YouTubes and he's interested in possibly helping me with my channel. And so we met to go practice some golf and he wanted to pick my brain about some different golf ideas. And one of them was whether or not the arm should be loosey goosey or if there should be some, some power in them. And it's a great question to ask, and I'm going to address it in today's video. And real quickly, I want to tell everybody I'm so excited to get back to golf full time. I'm going to have so much more time now that my novel's finished, and I'm working on my over-the-top golf swing. This has changed my life. I want you guys to get the over-the-top miracle swing at myswingevolution.com. Now, it comes as a part of MSC TV, which if you get a year subscription, that's just $8.33 a month. And I'm working on a brand new, large, expanded version of every step of the miracle swing. And if you get MSC TV before Black Friday, it's going to be included. I'm, I'm going to sell it as a larger add-on later. Okay, the next MSC Intensive is November 5th and 6th. It's gonna be an awesome time. So hit me up, Christo, at myswingevolution.com if you would like to join the MSC Intensive. And I have two spots left for personal video lessons. Okay, I'm taking on four people. Okay, I'm gonna give a weekly lesson it's just $200, it's 50 bucks per lesson. Hit me up if you're interested in that. So let's get into today's lesson. All right, so I headed out to Angeles National, one of my favorite places to go practice, and I met up with my buddy, Sean. Uh, he's just a, a really great young man. I appreciate his energy and his passion for the game of golf. And I'll tell you, he's not been playing very long. In a moment, I'm gonna to talk to him about his game and how he got started, but he's getting good very quickly. How's that one? That one was pretty good. Not bad, <laughs> not bad. How you doing today, Sean? Doing well. Doing cool, well. cool. So we've been friends for a few months now. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing golf? Um, I kind of been, so, you know, I started in high school. Uh, I played my baseball my whole life, basically, and I switched my senior year, actually, to golf. So, played for one year after that, then I stopped for four years, and then kind of during COVID, picked it back up again. So, I'd say probably total, like, three years. Wow, well, you're yeah. playing great, man. <laughs> you got you. a beautiful swing. Appreciate it. So, you've... Uh, built your swing off of YouTube basically huh pretty much yeah just a lot of like recording my own swing and the you know in the slow-mo option on the camera and trying to compare it to you know different pros looking at YouTube videos like you know typing in why am I missing it left and you know there's almost too much information sometimes to be honest but you know it's worked out for me so far yeah awesome can I see you hit a few more definitely So as you can see, that baseball background has really paid off for Sean. He can put some heat on the ball and he moves it a pretty long way. And I think he's just gonna keep getting better and better. Now, 
One of the things that was fun is while we were out here practicing, my buddy Joey showed up. If you remember in the springtime, I made a video where I showed Joey's little OTT move. I'm handing Joey my Jumbo Max grips. That's the first thing he asked me about. And you guys know Joey from having one of the best swings that I've had on my channel. So you pick it right up, right? It's not weird, huh? I like that. I think I'm gonna go with Jumbo Grips. Dude, I am not even kidding, man. Not even kidding. I can't go back now. Because it's like, imagine holding on to the shaft, how much wiggle right. there is. So, it's like nothing. Yeah, you can't hit a draw with it. I like that. <laughs> I don't want to hit a draw. Yeah, so when uh, earlier this year, I was uh, making a video with you uh -huh. and here's some teas. And I noticed that you have that, that little, it's minute, but a little over the shoulder transition. Yeah, that, that little like over the top move. Yeah, but it's not bad. That's what well, I'm trying to tell people. It's like more leverage, right? Well, the only reason why I think I do it because what happens back in the day when I hit a lot of draws, I was dumping left and then you can't play when you go left. You can play when you go right. Right. You hit it right, you can play. If you hit it left, you ain't gonna play. Uh, here's a swing from Sean. He's got an excellent move. And now for Sean's big question. All right, Crystal. So when you're swinging a golf club, do you feel like your arms are kind of more like ropes and your body's just guiding them and, you know, you keep them super loose? Or are you actually like using your hands and your arms to like, you know, throw the club or anything like that? Um, I spent a long time trying to have the soft arms, the feeling of the the heavy ropes and the body's doing everything. But I found with my little over the top move, I do feel that my arms and hands are engaged and I feel the weight of the club head and I'm moving the weight and hitting down on the back of the ball. And when I played with the loose arms style, I may have five holes where I'm perfectly timed and I'm hitting it great and then there'd be that one wild miss where I'd have a double, triple, and I'd be like ruining my card. But I'm much more in control by having a, a sense of connection through my arms and hands to the club head. And I want to accelerate the club head down through the ball. So that's what I do. Interesting. Are you ready to experience your very own miracle? Cristo Garcia, the man who swung as Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel special, Hogan, has created the most controversial and effective golf training program in history. The old PGA pros, they had this much simpler kind of wisdom. That's what I'm talking about, my friend. What made the most sense was learning how to put leverage on the shaft. It's a miracle. That's the old TT. <laughs> Do you have a burning desire to get better at golf? Like that. Are you frustrated by overcomplicated modern golf instruction? Well, your prayers have been answered. OTT! Now's your chance to learn the over the top miracle swing. Only at myswingevolution.com.